Saint Jerome Emiliani or Miani was born in Venice, 1486, the son of Angelo and Dionora Morosini. His father died when he was very young, and he was well educated in the Christian faith by his mother, a most noble woman. In 1506, he entered public life dedicating himself chiefly to the army. A soldier of the Most Serene Republic in 1511, he was sent to the fortress of Castelnuovo in Quero on the Piave River as commander of the castle. War raged between the Republic of Venice and the states that had adhered to the League of Cambrai. A large contingent of troops of Maximilian of Austria laid siege to the fortress. The garrison resisted bravely, but finally had to surrender. August 27, 1511. The few survivors were made prisoners. The commander thrown in chains in the underground passage of the fortress, destined no doubt to certain death. However, God's mercy awaited him there. Humiliated in prison, Jerome experienced complete inner transformation. He realized the vanity of human ambitions, acknowledged the errors of his youth that had been spent in pleasures, he begged aid from the mother in heaven he had invoked so often when a child. And the virgin appeared to him. Unseen, she accompanied him by the enemy sentry on the road to civilian liberty and a definite return to God. In fact, in Treviso, at the sanctuary of the Madonna Grande, Jerome made a definite decision to dedicate himself entirely to the service of God and fellow men. Returning to Venice, he gave his patrimony to the poor and joined the companions of divine love who dedicated themselves chiefly to assisting incurables. Thereafter, he went to hospitals, bringing the comfort of his faith and charity. In this service, he contracted a serious illness, but he overcame it thanks to a strong constitution, and with renewed fervor, he resumed his charitable work. Moved by human miseries, he was deeply affected by the sad conditions in which so many children lived. Left to themselves, deprived of parents, he started to gather some in his own home. Then as the number of these unhappy children increased, he opened a house for them near St. Basilio Church and another near St. Rocco Church. Meanwhile, reports of his charitable work spread. His friends, some of whom were bishops, asked him to extend his work to orphans outside of Venice. Jerome accepted the invitation and in 1532, began a long charitable trail that took him in various cities of Venetia and Lombardy, where other orphanages were started. The saint gave the children the elements of education, the fundamental notions of the Christian faith. He also had them learn a trade, so that they might find a niche in life and its activities, earn a living and express their Christian personalities. In this worthy charitable work, he found generous collaborators who joined him in assisting orphans, these formed the nucleus of what became the religious congregation of the Samascan Fathers. When the saint felt that his physical strength was diminishing and that he would be obliged to abandon his peregrinations through the countryside, he chose the little village of Samasca, near Lecco, as his favorite abode. Here, his intense spiritual fervor could be expressed in pious meditation and in prayer. A last example of his charity was shown when the plague broke out in Samaska, when he was at the end of his strength, obliged at last to remain in bed in account of his serious illness. He wanted to have near him a group of orphans whose feet he humbly washed, following the example of the Divine Master. He expired piously at daybreak, February 8, 1537, aged 51 years, victim of his own charity. He was beatified on September 22, 1747, by Pope Benedict XIV, and proclaimed saint on July 16, 1767, by Pope Clement XIII. In 1928, Pope Pius XI proclaimed Jerome universal patron of orphans and abandoned youth. His feast is celebrated every year on February 8, day of his entrance into heaven. Saint Jerome Emiliani still lives in his sons, heirs of his spirit who continue his work. The congregation of the servants of the poor did not end at the death of the saint. To this day, its successors form an unbroken chain. The small congregation approved by Pope Paul III in 1540 was recognized as a religious order in 1568 by Pope Pius V. From the name of the local where the founder of the fathers lived and died, 
the servants of the poor were thereafter called Samaskan fathers. The principle of their founder remained the same. Enlightened by the brighter horizons, the humble order of Samaskan fathers continued, continues to work in Italy, Switzerland, Spain, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, the United States, Brazil, Colombia, Philippines, and India.